Okay, in this um, video we're going to take a look at uh, what are called absolute cell references in Excel. And we've got the spreadsheet from the previous video. And uh, what we did not finish was we didn't put in percents. So I don't know what percent of my budget is going to each one of these categories. And I could use either the totals here to compute the percent, or I could use the average. Uh, I'm going to get the exact same numbers. The only difference is these numbers here are the same as the totals divided by 3. So since these are closer, I'll use those. OK, so percent is just a fraction. So all I have to do here is put a formula that says equals. And I want to know how much this is of the total down here. So it's the fraction H3 over H6 where the you know in each case here I want the total to be the denominator of the fraction. So let's go ahead and, and do that. We get about 27 percent. And let's go up here and format it as a percent. So it rounds it up to 28. And then um, let's go and take that formula. Actually, let's double click on it first. And you'll see one term is blue and it's got a blue box around it. And another term is red and it's got a red box around it. So it makes it easy to identify uh, the numbers that you're using. Now we're going to copy this formula down. And when I do, I get these funny errors. And if you go over here and click on the little exclamation mark, and it tells you that the formula function used is dividing by zero or empty cells. And actually, we're dividing by empty cells is what we're doing. And uh, you can click on the down arrow here, and it shows you a little bit. But to tell you the truth, most of these, these things here are not really very useful. If you ask for help on this error, uh, it probably comes up and tells me that I'm dividing by zero. And it's a little slow here coming up. But we should get the help coming up any second. Yeah, so it doesn't really tell you too much. And uh, I found that that's the way most of the uh, most of the help here. When you go to these little um, exclamation marks and you choose help on this error, you don't really get much help on that error. Um, so something's going wrong here. And uh, we can find out right away what it is if we just double click on that so we can see which cells it's referring to. And uh, the blue cell is H4, which is what I want. Uh, the red cell, though, is supposed to be 1027 down here. It's supposed to be that total, and it's not. It got pushed down. And um, I just hit Escape there. Now, if you go back and double click on this, okay, and you remember that the way that cell references are computed in Excel is relative to the cell that the formula is in. So this formula doesn't really say H3 divided by H6. It says go over 1 to the left to get the top number, and then go over 1 to the left and down 1, 2, 3 uh, to get the bottom number. And that works just fine here. But if I do the same thing on this one, uh, it works right for the numerator. But if I go down 3 to get the denominator, I'm down here on H7. And if I go here and do the same thing, I'm down on H8. And if I go here and do the same thing, I'm down on H9. So it's doing the blue number. It's doing that denominator correctly. Uh, but I want a way to tell Excel that this is not a relative term. It should not change when I copy the formula. And uh, this is how you do it. Go back to your original formula. And we want to tell it that the H6 does not change. And here's how you tell it not to change the H. You put a dollar sign in front of the H. And here's how you tell it not to change the 6. You put a dollar sign in front of the 6. Uh, they must go to the left. It's got to be dollar sign H, dollar sign 6. If you try doing H, dollar sign 6, dollar sign, uh, Excel doesn't know what you're talking about. So I hit the Enter key here, and nothing really changes because uh, I didn't have a problem with that formula in the first place. But the fact that I put those dollar signs in there means that if I copy it, that's an absolute cell reference, and it will not be changed by Excel. Now let's go take a look. And the denominator is still H6, and it's computing the right function uh, for me. Uh, if I double click on this, uh, it's um, H5 divided by H6, which is exactly what I wanted again. And uh, if I double click on this, uh, it's only one cell, so they're both going to be blue this time, but that's what I wanted. Okay? Now, before we finish this example, I want to show you one more thing that's kind of interesting about Excel here. Uh, I'm going to change this number from 275 to 280. Okay, And when I do that, 
uh, this number changed to 24%. Okay, and now if you add up 28 and 49 and 24, uh, what you get is 101 uh, percent. And the reason for that is, let's go here and let's uh, increase our number of decimal places a few times. Okay, and if you do that, you see that they really do add up to 100 percent. But this number rounds up to 28, which you'd expect it to. This rounds up to 49, and this rounds up to 24. So if you end up rounding all of them up, um, you'll end up getting 101%, or what looks like should be 101%. Now, they really do. I'm going to change this formula here to uh, a sum and uh, hit Enter. Uh, and it does come to 100%. Um, and it's using these numbers. It's using the, the actual number to as many decimal places as it can uh, in all of its calculations. But if you tell it just to display a certain number of decimal places, well, let's go back here. Okay, uh, The 27 and the 23 are going to change to 28 and 24 because of what's right uh, to the right of the decimal point here. And as soon as we do that, now it looks like they don't add up. But they really are adding up correctly. If I put a sum down here at the bottom, it will give me 100%. Um, but that's just uh, a quirk, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Uh, if you want Excel to round off numbers for you, uh, what's displayed sometimes and what's going to be used are going to be two different things. So you need to be kind of careful about that.